Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries. And I would like to thank all of you, amen, each of you, for joining me on this Tuesday night, amen, for Tuesday prayer. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Yes, praise the Lord. The Bible says that everything that had breath, praise ye the Lord for his praise shall continually, continually be in all of our mouths tonight. It is always a blessing, brothers and sisters, to be in and a, power, a part of the house of the Lord and to be among the living and not among the dead. Amen. There is always something for us to always be thankful for, brothers and sisters, although it may not seem that way. It may seem very difficult. It may be very difficult. Um, each of us, amen, are always at some point going through something very difficult, something very tumultuous. But nonetheless, when we try to find a reason, brothers and sisters, for there are many, uh, when we find a reason, amen, to give God the praise and the glory that he and only he deserves, that is when, amen, he will come and make um, his home with us so that we can experience both his fullness and his wholeness, amen. After all, he came so that we may have life, not so that we may just have life that we may have it more abundantly. Amen. I have to first give honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me to preach his word, which is the gospel. Amen. The good news of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world. Amen. This is a season of prayer, brothers and sisters. As we approach Resurrection Sunday, let us consecrate our minds and our hearts. Amen. On the things that are eternal. Uh, let us not put our hopes and dreams into the things of this world. Uh, sure, uh, there's nothing wrong with wanting to accomplish things or have some things down here. But we do not want to place all of our faith and hope and trust in things which are these, these tangible things, brothers and sisters. Uh, let us focus, amen, on the eternal. Let us focus on God's promises, amen, which can be universal for us all. Uh, the, his promises, amen are not only for one group of people. They can be for either the rich or the poor, amen. They can be for no matter what nationality you are, no matter what denomination you are today, uh, no matter whether you're male or female, amen, Jew nor Gentile, amen, all are one within Christ Jesus. Thank you, amen, for joining us today. Now, tonight's scripture, again, will be coming from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, blessed Lord, for this beautiful day, this, this day, Heavenly Father, that you have blessed us all to make it through. You have kept us safe on these roads, Heavenly Father, from uh, safe from all the danger that is seen and all the danger, Lord, that is unseen. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today to give you praise and glory that you and only you so richly deserves. Uh, for Heavenly Father, you are the Lord, our God. And beside you, Lord Jesus, there is no other. For you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Your word says, heaven and earth, Lord, can pass away. They can fold up. They can grow old. But only your word, Heavenly Father, only you will remain forevermore. Uh, for you are the Ancient of Days, amen. You are, uh, amen, our rock, our sword, and our shield, Heavenly Father. It is you, Heavenly Father, that we all turn to in our most dire times of need. It is you, Heavenly Father, uh, when something happens, Heavenly Father, that we call upon your name, for it is not man that can save us. It is only you, Heavenly Father. Uh, it is only you, for Lord, we are just instruments. We are just your instruments, Heavenly Father, of your love. We are just instruments, Lord, of your will. Uh, we come before you today, Heavenly Father, to tell you thank you, uh, to tell you thank you, to tell you thank you. Bless your holy name today. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, amen, for all of those who are in ministry today. All those who are in ministry, giving their very lives, Heavenly Father, to serve those who do have less than them, those who, who are the most uh, unfortunate heavenly father those that have had life uh hand them time after time uh bad situations so we want to pray today for those who are serving heavenly father those who are serving as caregivers those who are serving to look over widows and widowers those who are looking over orphans so those who are looking after the prisoners today lord we want to pray safety and security in the name of jesus christ lord we want to pray against any and all demonic influences Amongst your people, Lord, we want to pray for your covering.
We want to pray today for your hedge of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. But Heavenly Father, we want to pray today for all of our sick brothers and sisters. We just lift them up to you right now, Heavenly Father. Uh, we just lift them up wherever they are. We want to lift up uh, the name of Jesus Christ. So we know, Heavenly Father, there is healing within your wings. And although many of them have just been freshly and uh, di or recently just diagnosed with terminal illnesses, Heavenly Father, we want to pray your holy healing hands be upon them, Heavenly Father, whoever it is, Lord God, those who are all over the Internet, those who are calling into prayer lines around the world, those, Heavenly Father, who are in the emergency rooms, in the ICUs, or going along for the ride in the ambulances. Lord, we want to pray for a command healing, Heavenly Father, a command healing uh, to touch and agree. Amen. With your congregation, Lord, so that the people all around the world who are the followers, who are the believers in Jesus Christ. Uh, they may be in hiding, Lord. They may not want to classify themselves as much for fear of their very lives. But we want to pray a covering over them who are standing in the gap and taking care of those who are less fortunate, to who, who are taking care of those who are sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray today against all of these diseases that are among us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing us through that period of COVID-19. We want to thank you for every single man, woman, and child that has been spared, of every single man, woman, and child that has been healed. So we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for all that we have done. And there's already, Heavenly Father, uh, that you, uh, that there's already those that have been healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you, Lord, for healing those who have been diagnosed with cancer. We want to pray and thank you for healing for those who have been diagnosed with heart disease. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for those who have been recently diagnosed with schizophrenia and mental illnesses, any blood blown, uh, blood blown diseases, Lord, any diseases of the hormonal level, Lord, those that have mental incapacitations, Lord. We want to pray over the children today, uh, Lord God. We want to pray over the children. Children, Lord, that have been diagnosed with uh, attention deficit disorder, Lord, those that have been diagnosed with bipolarism, Lord, any of these things with epilepsy, Lord, we want to pray, Heavenly Father, that the medical side of the things, Lord, are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to pray for the spiritual side of these sicknesses. Uh, for many of these sicknesses, Lord, of the mind, Lord, they are spiritual infestations. Uh, so we come against them in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you for healing, Lord. We want to thank you for healing. Uh, we want to thank you for every casting out we want to thank you for deliverance in the name of jesus christ lord we want to thank you today lord god for ushering uh those children ushering those people into the promised land into the place lord that you will have them dwell amen the land that floweth uh with milk and honey so we want to thank you today for restoring their spirits we want to thank you for restoring their minds in the name of jesus christ Heavenly Father, as we move forward, Lord God, we want to pray today, amen, again, a special prayer and covering uh, for those who are poor and homeless, Lord, the desperate, those who, that, who do not have a roof over their head, uh, those that do not have clothing on their body right now, those that have no hope, those that in their mind have no future. But well, we want to pray right now for them in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, right now for healing them, for, for giving them a place to stay, for providing shelter over them. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that these the funding, Heavenly Father, is released in the atmosphere. It is released, Lord, in the heavenly realm. It is released in these territorial realms, Lord God. Let the funding be released to go to these organizations to help, amen, those who are of the most need, uh, the poor, amen, and the homeless. We want to pray today, Lord, that the resources meet the need that the resources are already there that they are just unleashed and unlocked in the name of jesus christ and we want to thank you today for deliverance for our poor brothers and sisters we want to thank you for deliverance for our sisters and brothers lord that need this help that need this assistance the most in the name of jesus christ heavenly father we want to pray for those who do not have food for their stomachs for there are millions and millions of people around the world heavenly father that do not have one meal to feed themselves, uh, that do not have one uh, piece of bread, Heavenly Father, to provide for their families today. We want to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, a deliverance over the spirit of poverty. We want to pray against the spirit of poverty and all of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for breaking and binding this thing, Heavenly Father, and ringing it out and casting it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, we want to pray today, Lord, again, that the resources are released that the resources are released to be distributed to those 
who are in the most of need. We want to thank you today, Lord, for the victory. We want to thank you, Lord, for the full bellies, Heavenly Father, that are going to be filled, uh, not just with earthly food, but with your word, Heavenly Father. We pray today a, a feasting, Lord, a Thanksgiving feast of the word of God, Lord, as we continue to approach Resurrection Sunday, Lord, as we continue to approach Good Friday of this Friday, Lord, let us keep our hearts and minds appraised of the bread of life. For your word says that uh, those who eat of your flesh and drink of your blood, Heavenly Father, you're speaking us to your word today. So we thank you today for feeding every Heavenly Father the hungry that are around the world, not just the hungry in their stomachs. We pray a feeding for them in their physical bodies, but we also pray, Lord, for those who are hunger for righteousness. Uh, for your word says, those who hunger for righteousness will be filled, Heavenly Father, for we only have one teacher. And he is the Christ. So we thank you today, Heavenly Father, for being our teacher. We want to thank you today, Lord, for being our deliverer. We want to thank you for today for being our provider. Lord God, there is too much political discourse in our land about who should be providing and who not. But we know, Heavenly Father, that you are our provider. Uh, you are our sword, Lord. You are our shield. It is you who protects us, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. It is you that provides for us, Lord. It is you that keeps us awake on the roads. It is you that keeps uh, the of our rebuke for our sake. We want to thank you today, Lord, for rebuking the canker worm, uh, for rebuking the locust, uh, Lord, over all of our finances, Lord, over all of our careers, over all of our families, Lord. We want to thank you today for a full deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray today over a man, every single child that is around this world. We want to pray today, Lord, as every single Amber Alert that continuously goes off on our cellular devices. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that that child is found. And we want to pray, Heavenly Father, that your warring angels, Lord, surround them, your cherubim, Lord, surround them, Heavenly Father, with flaming swords to protect these children, uh, to protect them, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and danger. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are harming these children, Lord, that they are brought to justice. Heavenly Father, that they will not escape. Amen. Your day, Lord, they will not escape. For the Bible says, who can withstand the day of the Lord? Who can escape the day of the Lord? So we know no one, Heavenly Father, will be able to uh, surpass. No one will be able to escape, Heavenly Father, the judgment that you have awaiting for them, Lord. For your word says that those who harm uh, those children will cause them to fall. And it would be better if a millstone was tied around their neck. So we want to thank you today, Lord, for covering these children, for covering these orphans. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today for keeping them, Lord, keeping them uh, in our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you today, Lord. We thank you today, Heavenly Father. We want to pray, Lord, against this human racketeering operation that continues to plague our land, uh, this racketeering operation of human sex trafficking, Lord. We want to pray against the harvesting of the people for the only harvest that should be taking place right now is the harvest of souls, Heavenly Father, for you, Heavenly Father, has dispatched, amen, your servants, Lord, to continue to make ripe, amen, the harvest for the earth, Lord, for we know, Heavenly Father, you are soon to return, for you are soon to return for your people, uh, not the church that mankind has created for themselves, not the various denominations, but we know that you are going to return for your church, Lord, for your people. People, no matter what denomination they are in, no matter what nationality and ethnicity they are in, we pray today, Heavenly Father, that you encircle them, Lord, that you encircle the camp, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray today, right now, in your holy, holy, precious name, we want to pray today, Lord, against all ungodly relationships, Lord. We want to pray, Lord Jesus, for healthy relationships, for there are many, many, many people, Lord, encouraging folks to rush into marriage, Heavenly Father. We want to pray, Lord, against the spirit of anxiousness, Lord. We want to pray for a spirit of peace, a spirit of contentment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we want to pray an end, Lord, to these ungodly relationships that have formed. We want to pray, Lord, that wherever they have uh, created a root system in our life, Lord, we pray that it is uprooted by the root in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to pray against uh, these ungodly soul ties, these ungodly relationships. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, that no matter who they are with, no matter how many numbers of people are involved, we know, Lord, there is no mountain, Heavenly Father, that cannot be moved amen without our mustard seed of faith we know heavenly father that you parted the red sea to let your children cross Lord, we know that you parted the jordan river heavenly father we know uh lord god that uh there is a mandate heavenly father a mandate for us uh, to turn back to you lord to turn back our ways bless your holy name today heavenly father we want to pray today lord god 
those who have addictions, those who are addicted to substances, those who are addicted to behavior, Lord God. We want to pray today in your holy name, Lord, that they are delivered from that situation, uh, that they are delivered, Lord, to never see that enemy again in the name of Jesus Christ. All we must do, Lord, Heavenly Father, is believe in the heart and confess with your mouth. As Jesus, amen, is the son of God. Bless your holy name today. So we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for healing from these addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to pray today for a, a holy, heavenly addiction to your word, Lord. We want to pray a heavy, a heavenly addiction, Lord, to the things of God, Lord. Let us be obsessed with your kingdom, Lord. Let us be obsessed with loving one another, Lord. Let us be obsessed with following along the fruits of the spirit. Uh, let us do the things that you have called us to do, Heavenly Father. Let us be glad, amen. And the Bible says, I was glad when they said unto us, uh, let us go to the house of the Lord. Bless your holy name. For your word says the Lord loves a chill forgiver. So let us be cheerful, Lord. Let us be positive and optimistic uh, as we approach your word. Let us be positive and optimistic, Lord, as we believe, Heavenly Father. For the Bible says, without faith. It is impossible to please God. So let us believe, Heavenly Father. Let us believe and receive, amen, what you have, amen, for your people in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we want to pray today for those who are listening, those who are battling doubt. We want to pray, Lord, that whatever stronghold they are dealing with, the enemy is casting uh, deceptive things over their mind to prevent them from believing in the Most High, Lord. For we know that no man can come to the Father unless you draw him. And we believe that everyone who is listening, everyone who is praying right now in unison with us, Lord, we believe uh, your word when it says where two or three is gathered in my name. Amen. There will I also be. So we pray today, Lord, that they uh, that they that doubt is cast out, Lord Jesus, that doubt is dispelled. And then they come down off the fence uh, and make a decision. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Lord God, we pray today again, protection from deceptions, Lord, protection from lies today, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for revealing us the truth, for you are the way, the truth, and the life. Let us not get caught up in living our own truth, Heavenly Father. For the Bible says, so is a man, so is, so shall he reap it. So everything that we do, there's going to be a return, uh, Heavenly Father. So we want to thank you today, Lord God, for protecting us from deceptions, Lord, so that we do not walk around living our own truth living all of the, our, our quote-unquote best life and all of these other euphemisms. Lord, we pray today, uh, Heavenly Father, that we maintain uh, that which, which you have given us, that we maintain, that we continue to consecrate ourselves in prayer. Uh, Lord God, so we do not want to be in a situation where we only talk with you, we only communicate with you when we need something. Lord, we want to pray that we constantly keep in contact with you throughout all, amen, the day all throughout the day, morning, noon, and night, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today for your supernatural protection, glory God. We know that we are in a season of warfare. Uh, we are in a season of warfare, and the generals, Heavenly Father, the generals in the faith, Lord, are, are amasking and amounting, Lord. They are gathering together, Lord, to prepare, uh, to prepare the troops, amen, to be ready to be dispatched as we continue to battle, amen, in the spiritual realm, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we want to thank you too. Uh, we want to thank you too, Heavenly Father, for your whole armor of God, Lord. For the book of Ephesians says, we war not against flesh and blood, but against the powers of principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness located in high places, Lord. We are fighting a territorial battle. Heavenly Father, we are battling an asymmetrical spiritual warfare, Lord. Unconventional guerrilla tactics and spiritual warfare, for the enemy does not absorb boundaries heavenly father the enemy does not observe uh our laws lord so let us get outside of our prejudiceness lord for each other let us get outside skin color today let us get outside gender amen for we know the lord will use any and everyone that he chooses amen to accomplish his word so let us continue to prepare ourselves lord god let us continue to prepare ourselves to understand heavenly father you have given us all roles to play you have given us all job taskings and various functions today so let us not utilize uh the these opportunities let us not utilize these roles for anything other than what you have created them and intended them to be in the name of jesus christ heavenly father we thank you today for giving sight to the spiritually blind we thank you for giving uh hearing to the spiritually deaf lord and we thank you for making uh those who are not able to walk on their own stand on their own two feet lord we want to thank you today 
Heavenly Father, for the special wine, amen, they need in the name of Jesus Christ. For the wine, Lord, that we need is not that of a physical wine, but it is as a new wine, Heavenly Father, for the day of the Pentecost. Your Holy Spirit descended upon that room, the upper room. And yes, Heavenly Father, the, the languages that were being spoken, you understand all things for all things, Heavenly Father, are descended from you. So we want to thank you today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today. In the name of Jesus Christ for deliverance, we want to thank you today, Lord Jesus, for uh, the strong, amen, the strong bearing the infirmities of the weak. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless your holy name today. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray a protection from all accidents today. Heavenly Father, those who have lost uh, their life, Lord, due to all sorts of accidents on these roads, all sorts of climatic weather conditions, Lord. We pray for all the victims right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All the victims, Heavenly Father, that have lost their life in these tornadoes. We want to pray, Lord, a restoration for them. We want to pray a healing for them, Lord. For yes, uh, it is with heavy hearts and minds, Lord, that are gathered together to mourn, amen, the loss of a loved one, specifically those who are lost to these unpredictable weather changes, Lord God. So we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you today, Lord, for hearing our prayer. We want to thank you today, Lord, for constantly being with us, for your word says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Bless your holy name today. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, Lord, for all of our military. Uh, we pray, Lord, for your word says there will be always wars and rumors of wars. And we want to know right now today uh, that they do have an Israeli uh, uh, packed, amen. We do have an agreement that is packed, uh, Lord, that you have created on our behalf, Lord. So we were not able to fulfill uh, the original covenant, Lord, but you, Heavenly Father, made a covenant with your son on behalf of all of mankind for your word says, for God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Bless your holy name today. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for salvation, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, today for the opportunity, Lord, to be a, a part of your kingdom, Lord. We want to thank you today, Lord, for covering all of our school teachers, administrators, any and all those who are working around children. We pray for our supporting staff, our paraprofessionals, our aides. Uh, we want to pray covering over them in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. And wherever these uh, incidents are continuously taking place, we pray, Lord, that all the perpetrators are arrested, amen, that they are arrested, amen, and prosecuted in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord God, we thank you today. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for having it in Germany. We thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for this day. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, for your word today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for prayer. We thank you for your protection, Lord, from all hurt, harm, and danger, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you continuously, Lord, for protecting us, protecting us from all seen and unseen danger, Lord, for there are many things that are unseen, Lord, that we need protection from. And you, Heavenly Father, you know of all things. So we want to thank you today, Lord, for blessing us. We want to thank you today for keeping us, keeping us from the Egypts of this world, Lord, from the pharaohs, Lord. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for protecting us when we are not able to protect ourselves because you are our chief provider. You are our chief protector, Lord God, for you are the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And we want to thank you for all of your miracles, your signs and your wonders that you continuously show us. Uh, for many have said, Lord, they are always seeking for signs. And yet, Lord, you are providing signs and miracles and wonders for us. And the people still are not taking heed. So we want to thank you today, Lord God. We want to thank you today, Lord, for continuing to proceed uh, in spite of our own lack of effort, in spite of our own shortcomings. We want to thank you today in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray today for a spirit of wisdom. Uh, we pray for the spirit of command wisdom, Lord, to befall your people. Lord, wherever they are around the world, we want to pray, Lord God, that they all have sweaters, that they all have cold weather gear that will assist them in what they are doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, blessed Lord. We want to bless you. We want to bless you. We want to thank you, Lord God. We want to thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this blessed night of prayer. We thank you for covering each and every single one of us. Bless your mighty, mighty, holy name today. And Lord God, we thank you today. We thank you today, amen, for this fellowship, this companionship, this 
or two or three is gathered in, in your name, Lord. And we want to thank you today, Lord, for this fellowship, for this gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I want to thank each of you, brothers and sisters, for joining me, amen, for prayer uh, this evening, this night. And we pray that the Lord, amen, be upon all of you, amen, that he continuously shed his grace on every single one of us, every single household. And we want to pray, amen, for deliverance. We want to pray, Lord, and decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, breakthroughs in all of our lives for all of our families in the name of Jesus Christ. And please join me. Please join me this Thursday, amen, at 8 p.m. Uh, for the word study, amen, for Bible study night. So thank you again, brothers and sisters, for joining me. All of you have a very blessed evening.